Jeremy Hernandez, Jeremy Hernandez, Zio Montanez, Angel Forte. Um, so basically I competed just recently and I hit a reverse Oma Plata. I put a video up a couple days ago and there's a few videos out there on the reverse Oma Plata, but I still had a lot of people asking me if I can go through the explanation of the technique and pretty much what exactly I did. So a common situation uh, for doing the reverse Oma Plata is from the turtle, the crucifix type position. Now what happened was is I'm going and I'm going to spin around and my goal, especially if I'm going to get the crucifix or I'm going to do the reverse omoplata, is when I spin to my left, I don't want him to grab my outside leg. If I come around and grab my outside leg, take this hand and grab out here. If he grabs my outside leg, I can't get the crucifix position. So my goal is to step over so then that way the only leg that he has the option of grabbing is this one. So when he goes to grab my leg, grab my leg, I pull back, even if he's holding with both hands, I can pull back and get a good position. If he's holding tight with both hands, a good thing to do is to get a cross face onto the person's face, so then that way I can still break it. Now a very key thing to the crucifix is I want to take this bottom leg and I want to open it forward. I'm taking this bottom leg, I'm opening it forward, and then I'm getting a triangle choke. What a lot of people do is they get the positioning of the legs wrong. So if I take my right foot and I bring it in here, this isn't good. So if I spin back and I go to spin and he misses my outside leg, which is what I want him to do, and he grabs this leg, I come through and my bottom leg shoots forward. Then I triangle my legs. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my left arm and I'm going to shoot it underneath. So I'm here, I shoot it underneath and I'm dropping my left shoulder basically doing a forward roll and looking to my right. Now, if he doesn't roll with me, he's gonna hurt himself. So if I come through and he doesn't roll with me, don't roll with me, I'm gonna come through and it's basically gonna crank his shoulder. So if you can come around this way. You know, ideally I'm gonna grab his leg or um, grab his pants because I wanna make sure he doesn't roll, but a lot of people do roll with this just based off of the momentum. But if he doesn't roll, I'm going to really hurt his arm. So when I come back, when I do actually go for the position, a lot of people do roll with it. So when I go and he rolls, I'm shooting my left arm through right away. I want to get my shoulder onto his shoulder, and then I like to grab the leg, especially if it's up. I bring pressure down into his neck. I'm dropping my elbow in, and then I push my chest right into his upper shoulder as I drive my hips in like I'm doing an, uh, basically an arm bar. He should feel the pressure into his shoulder with this particular type of reverse omoplata. Some people do feel pressure into their elbow as well, but I want to keep this pressure down. So if I give another quick demo, we're here, oh, I go spin, shoot through, I switch, I drop, my elbow, I roll through, and I'm shooting my arm past, and I'm trying to get my chest to his shoulder, and I'm locking my elbows down. This elbow is locking tight into his face, so when he goes to move around a little bit, he can't move. I'm not hipping in yet. Then from there, I grab the pants, or I grab the leg, and then I drive my hips in as I drive my chest and my ribs into his shoulder so I can get the finish. So. That's pretty much how I got the, um, the reverse omoplata in the tournament. I just went, I saw the position, and I, and I did it that way. I've been doing it in training a little bit. I taught it pretty much a couple weeks ago. And uh, I saw a Sambo video like two days ago, which was pretty sick. And um, just coincidence that I happened to, to do it then as well. So um, I'm just going to do it really quick. Full motion. I go through. Boom. He grabs. I switch. Roll through, he rolls with me, I grab, hip in, and then I finish. Alright, so hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully you learned some extra details about it, and uh, thanks for watching. This is Mike, one of my students, Blue Belt, awesome dude, peace.